the necessity of strat home and why it was a good thing now when we look at warcraft 3 there are a lot of things that people remember for example grom hell screen drinking the demon's blood um archimon being yeeted off by wisps but there is one thing that players will remember from the human campaign, and that is Artris picking up the frost, picking up Frostmourne, of course. But besides that, they will remember Stratholm and the terrible thing of yeeting civilians in Stratholm. So let's discuss about this subject and why it was a necessity, and quite frankly, the only option Artris really had at that point. First of all, let's take into consideration how this happened. Well. The Scourge was on its way to basically destroy whatever life it could find in Lordaeron. And one of the center stages for Malganus and his plan was Stratholm. The interesting thing about Stratholm is that the way to turn the humans to their Scourge counterparts, which in the game they were represented as zombies, they had to eat tainted grains from Anderhal. And so the human population did that and... Shortly enough, they found themselves infected by the same plague. Artris notes that, and he comes to the conclusion that slaughtering them all is the only option that he could take, and probably the most humane one. And that is because there was no saving for the citizens of Stratholm in the, from the start. There was no way they could be left alive, there was no way they could be safe from that. So thus, the best solution is to end their life as quickly as possible. Or... You can do what I consider to be the stupid option and quarantine the city. Now, I say that's a stupid option because locking down the city would have not saved anybody. Well, Uther and Jaina wanted a solution that was more humane and did not mean slaughtering the citizens of Lordaeron. There was no other way besides that. Because any time they would have wasted with inaction, Malganus would have just used that to bolster his forces from the citizens of Stratholm. While they could have locked down the city and looked for a solution to the plague and probably come up with one, it would have been too late even if they started earlier than the moment the uh, artists Jaina and Uther were at Stratholm. Because Malganus was already there, he was already planning and knew what he had to do and he would have continued with his plan. Now imagine this, a population of a city that's turning to zombies. And your best solution is to lock them there. Well, this is something that might work in a real zombie scenario. The problem is that Malganus wanted to use the same citizens that have been turning to zombies for his personal army. And we can see during the campaign of Warcraft 3 that Malganus can transport the same zombies to another place. Thus, locking the city down would have only just given Malganus more fuel for his army. And that would have only made things worse for Lordaeron in general. Because the moment Artis comes to Stratholm, slaughters the civilians, and goes after Malganus, Malganus flees to Northrend, where the little plan with the Frostmourne is just waiting to pop. A thing that, as far as we know at this point in time, liberates Lordaeron in a way. And by that I mean that now the Scourge threat is minimized without one of its central leaders being there to command them. That's what artists had to do the unspeakable and slaughter his own people. He managed to save some in the process. I would dare even say that artists doing that is what made Jaina listened to Medivh and then continued to take as many survivors as she could to Kalimdor. Thus we can thank Artus and his decision for the existence of Terramore. For a while, that is. Artus' actions at Stratholm ensures that the population of Lordaeron gets to survive just a little bit more and for some of them just enough to leave Lordaeron and go to Kalimdor, where they will find salvation. Without Stratholm happening, then we are sure to have a stronger Scourge presence in Lordaeron that will continue and devastate the kingdom even more. The hardest decisions take the strongest wills.